Another more advanced kind of game you can play with the geometric solids is to use them with their bases. And now this takes the three-dimensional and con correlates it to two dimensions. And it's, it's fun for the children, and it's laying the groundwork for a deeper understanding of geometry as they get older. But right now it's just fun. So let's take a cube for starters. Do you see any of the bases here that might fit on the cube? Yeah, this would. I bet there's another one. I bet my cube would sit on a square base. Sure does. Do you see any other places you could put a base, a square? There's one. You kind of have to lean these. Well, then I'll hop on this side. How about this side? One more. Now, when you buy a set of bases, you won't get as many. So I've collected over the years several sets of bases because I love this work so much, and the children really like it. So, okay, so I need those square bases for the cube. Well, what about... Oh, uh, what about my square-based pyramid? I wonder what kind of bases I need for that. Let's put these bases back up here, because we might need them for some other shapes. What do you see for the base or the sides of this square base pyramid? Well, it sits it will sit right on the square. It will fit there, won't it? Yes, it will. What else do you see? Well, there's a tall pyramid here. Okay, there you go. One there. One there. One there. And one there. There you go. So, should we try the triangular base pyramid, too? What's that going to sit on? I think it's going to sit on this triangle. Uh, but what about the sides now? There's only three of them. Let's see if these fit. Yeah, they do. So, once the child sees the activity, um, they just explore and they find out all the bases that can sit on all the sides. But I want to show you one that you wouldn't necessarily think of, but I learned it and the children enjoy it. And that is, what do you do with the sphere? <laughs> it doesn't have any sides, does it? But there is one thing that we can do. We can take a circle, and if we lay it, this right on top, we see that it is exactly the circumference of that sphere is matches the circle. So you kind of get to work with the circle and the sphere. And then the same thing, what about this cylinder? What can we do with the cylinder? Well, the children will soon find out that, but then they can also see that, well, you could kind of make the whole cylinder disappear behind this side. So it kind of makes kind of the outline of a rectangle. So you just play around a little bit and allow the children to experiment. So these bases are great fun for the children. I hope you can, you could make them out of cardboard if you don't, if you don't have them. Um, they're just a great variation and extension of the geometric solids. <laughs>